everyone, this is Kasha. I made the Princess in Black costume for my daughter for the book character day at school. Last time I showed you how I made the belt, then you can go back and watch that video. And today I'm going to show you how I made the cape. Here's the cape. It's actually two-sided. You can wear it on gray or you can wear it on black side, but the Princess in Black cape is black on the outside and gray on the inside. I made a pattern for it. The link to it is below this video. And I hope you enjoy it and follow along. Okay, so here's what you're gonna need to complete your project. You will need your pattern. You will need fabric, gray and black in the same amount. The dimensions are provided on the pattern. And you will also need one and a half inch long piece of three and a quarter wide Velcro. And you'll need black and gray thread. Okay, so to assemble your pattern, you will cut off against the dotted red line and then you will put the pieces that go next to each other together and I just use tape. Once you have assembled your whole entire pattern you will cut it on the black line. Okay so once you have cut out and assembled your pattern you're gonna want to cut your fabric. Um, you're gonna do it on a fold meaning it's gonna be folded lengthwise and usually you have this fold from the fabric store. And then here on the pattern where it says fold here, that's what goes on the fold. So you're gonna line it up even with the fold. And then I like to pin my pattern to the fabric a little bit so it doesn't move. So uh, right here, I'm gonna put a pin. I'm gonna put a pin up here. And I'm gonna put some pins all around. And then I'm gonna get my scissors and I'm gonna cut this piece out. And I'll keep cutting until I've cut out the whole entire pattern. I'm gonna do this with the black and the gray fabric both. Okay, once you have cut out both of your pieces of fabric, you want to put it with the right sides together, which the sides that will be on the outside of the cape, that will be the cape, will go together. So for me, it's this side with this, and then open it up and line it up. If your fabric is a little wrinkled, now would be a good time to iron it and press it so that it lays flat. And then you want to come in with your pins and pin it. So you don't have to pin the whole entire thing, but I would pin it pretty good around the neck part here and then all the way around my curve until I get to the straight part. And then when you sew, when you're ready to sew, um, I'm gonna start right here in the middle of my neck. I'm gonna do half an inch seam allowance. So I'll go here, I'll go around, and I'll keep sewing until I get to the bottom and at the bottom of the cape, I'm gonna quit. And then I'm gonna come back and start going the other way. And then I'm not gonna go all the way, all the way, I'm gonna leave myself a six inch opening at the bottom to flip the cape right side out later. Okay, so once you've sewn the two pieces of your cape together, you want to get all your pins out. And then before you flip it, you need to do two things. Okay, so on your corner right here, you want to cut off your corner at a diagonal. That way when you flip it, your corner is going to be straight. It's not going to buckle up. And here on the curve, you want to cut in some notches like this. Or if you have a zigzag Pinkin, they're called pinkin shears, but I call them zigzag scissors like this. You can just come in and cut off the whole entire curve. We're doing this so that when we flip 
our cape this uh, part's gonna lay nicely it's not gonna buckle up so do it all the way here around your neck and here once you've gotten your cape ready for flipping you will find your opening uh, mine's really big and then you will go in and flip the whole entire cape inside out the parts like these were on the neckline you may want to get your fingers in there to get everything out or you can put um, something like a pencil in there or something sharp once you finish flipping your cape go ahead and press it so it's nice and flat like mine when you do it put your iron from the middle out to make it really really nice on the bottom press down where the opening is and then let's go back and sew this opening together and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew on the black side I'm going to use the black thread from the top of my machine and I'm going to use the gray thread from the bottom okay so here it is I've sewn over my opening black thread on top gray thread on the bottom and the last thing we still have to do is put our velcro on so this is how I'm going to do it I have a one and a half inch long piece of velcro I'm going to put it apart I'm going to cut it in half or not quite a half but I'm going to have about an inch left of that rough part the soft part I'm going to leave long and I'm going to put this piece here so it's away from the body so your child won't get scratched on their neck and I'm gonna put the longer piece down like this so we can have an opening okay so my cape is done I hope you followed along and it was easy enough for you to do it please make sure to let me know in comments what you thought and please come back next time so I can show you how I did the shirt also if you haven't go back and watch my video when I did the belt see you soon